Hey, we're back with Comics Characters Chronology. Be sure to subscribe, hit that like button, all that stuff, so you don't miss any of the issues we cover here. Uh, with that in mind, let's start right in on today's fourth appearance of Spider-Man from Amazing Spider-Man number two. All right, so this is cover dated uh, May of 1963, and uh, just some quick thoughts on the cover here. I actually think this is underrated. I don't think you see this cover come up in a lot of the you know greatest Spider-Man cover uh, lists. Uh, I think though it's one of Ditko's best for sure. I love the angle of uh, falling into the city here. That uh, strike. That's a striking image especially given that the city is all gray and we have the colorful vulture and Spider-Man of course above it. Uh, also the, the falling angle is a strange juxtaposition with the spiderweb logo up top. Um, just, I don't know, it strikes me. And then the inset uh, as well here, I think also uh, is striking and intriguing and uh, definitely makes you wanna read the issue, find out what's on the inside. All right, and that cover is penciled and inked by Steve Ditko. So this is the first time we get to see Ditko on the cover, the colors by Stan Goldberg. And uh, the first story in the issue, the one we're covering today is Duel to the Death with the Vulture. And on the script, we have Stan Lee, Pencils and Inks by Ditko, Colors by Stan Goldberg, and Letters by John Duffy. Uh, this issue has been reprinted several places, including Marvel Masterworks, The Amazing Spider-Man Volume 1, Amazing Spider-Man Omnibus Volume 1, Amazing Spider-Man Epic Collection Volume 1, and you can find it on Marvel Unlimited. All right, and for our story, we have uh, a new villain, the Vulture, who mysteriously is able to fly flying around the city committing rather brazen acts of theft. And he even manages to get a jump on Spider-Man, tossing him into a water tower uh, where our hero is trapped. With walls too slick to climb and being out of web fluid, Spider-Man finally manages to free himself by swimming to the bottom of the water and then using his incredible strength to jump through the water all the way up to the hole that he was tossed in through. The Vulture later announces his intentions to steal some diamonds as they're being transported and appears to get away with it until Spider-Man manages finally to bring him down. Spider-Man is able to prevent the Vulture from flying by using an anti-magnetic device, uh, which he uh, whips up in his uh, lab because he apparently had uh, guessed correctly that uh, Vulture's flying abilities were brought about through magnets. Now, Vulture had managed to get a jump on Spider-Man and capture him because Spider-Man was fiddling with a camera. And he was messing with the camera because this issue is our introduction to the idea of Peter Parker photographer, or rather, Spider-Man photographer. Parker actually gets the idea from overhearing his classmates talk about uh, wanting to see certain pictures in Now Magazine. And that actually, headed up by J. Jonah Jameson, is who Parker decides to sell his pictures to. He likes the irony of uh, Spider-Man selling pictures to, uh, you know, his menace. Parker, though, sells the photos under the condition of anonymity and that Jameson never asks him how he gets the photos. So that is, I guess, a way of hiding his identity in case someone ties the photographer to Spider-Man. Now the money Parker is able to earn is enough for him to pay uh, for Aunt May's rent for an entire year as well as apparently uh, spruce up the kitchen as well. In this issue we also see Spider-Man developing a utility belt of sorts which will hold extra capsules of web fluid so that he doesn't uh, get caught in a water tower without any web fluid again. All right, that's it for this one. So next time uh, we'll be talking the Justice League, their fourth appearance, which comes from the first issue of Justice League of America. So they're finally in their own book. Uh, to make sure you get that, like, subscribe, do all those things, hit the notification bell, all of that, and we'll see you then. Thanks.